This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Sean Carruthers is here at CS 2011. Now you may have heard of eBooks, and we're here with Adam from Ion, who's going to show us a product that can help you roll your own. Now, Adam, you're with Ion Audio. Why are you dealing with books? Well, you know, we're all about conversion technology. We do a variety of different types of products here, but we've done tremendously well with audio conversion and video conversion products. This is kind of the next frontier. We kind of think of Booksaver almost as Napster for books. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got your own books that you bought over the years, your library that you put together. This gives you an opportunity to take that library and really easily and really effectively bring it straight into the digital realm so that you can put it on any ebook reader, put it on your computer, whatever you need to do. So right. it's really, really simple. You've got the opportunity here with this wand to go ahead and click and record both pages of your book, and then you simply go ahead and pick up the piece, slide to the next page, put it down, you get the same sort of scan every time, everything lines up perfectly. Right. You've got OCR, so you can have optical character recognition in the software, and then you put it onto an SD card, bring it into your computer or any ebook reader, and you're in a position where you can look at all of your books in a format that you can use with today's technology. And it's, it saves uh, right to the SD saves card right, right here? right to the SD card. So right. what do we have in terms of sensors up top to, to make that happen? Is just a couple of cameras pointing down? That's right. We've got cameras pointing down that are calibrated specifically to catch what we've got going on in these two separate pages, and then ultimately knit those together to put them on your ebook. All right. What's the, uh, the general size? I mean, we can see in general it's, it's a fairly large book, but what's the maximum size of book you can uh, do here? You know, that's a great question. I don't actually know the maximum size off the top of my head, but we've got very large tabletop books, and that will actually work as well. So, about this big, it looks like. That, so. that will work absolutely fine. And, and this is a good one to, to do. <laughs> of course, uh, the issue of, um, of copyright, you probably don't want to be doing this and then sending it all over the net, of course. No, of course not. This is all about your library that you've your already got. So library. You've already right. purchased your books. It's, it's basically fair use. You've already, you own the technology, so you're just basically moving it to another form. Yeah, everybody has a bunch of books that are out of print or whatever, and you may want to read them without carting them around and potentially damaging them if they're rare. So That's exactly right. All right, so how much is this, and when are we going to be able to get this? Uh, this will be out a little bit later this year, and price is completely to be determined, but we expect it to come in at under 200 Under 200 but uh, double check uh, when it does get released for exact pricing. Absolutely. You can check it out on ionaudio.com. Great. Thanks so much, Adam. And uh, of course, you can check the show notes for this on our site at butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.